All right, so this is the Allen four bike trailer hitch bike rack. As you can see there, sturdy construction. It has the four areas for bikes. I have a bike on there. We'll get to that in a minute. I just want to walk you through how this is set up. So it basically comes in three pieces. You got a piece here, here, and then this top section. They give you these bolts to put everything together. I have them all loose right now. Uh, and then they have this little pull pin. Now this pull pin is here so you can pop it out and the whole bike rack would tilt backwards so you can open uh, your hatchback or whatever the case may be. And I'll show you exactly what it looks like in that position. See if we can do it here with the bike on it without causing too much grief. Now that's what it looks like with an actual bike on it. Of course, this bike touches the ground here, but that is the max distance that it does extend. Should be more than enough room to allow a normal hatchback to open. If you have an SUV or anything like that, you should be good. Like I said, if you happen to have a Ram like I do, you'll see that this almost, it suddenly clears. I don't understand why. The first time I did this, it reached. Hallelujah, look at that, it clears. So I take that back. With this split back, you can actually clear. Excellent news. So, all right, so just a quick note. It's my guess that it's not really intended to be lowered with a bunch of bikes on it. I think it would be quite heavy uh, if you had uh, a bunch of bikes on it and you tried to pull the pin and lower this. It's actually quite heavy with just this one bike on it. So uh, that is something to consider. But uh, if you have it on there and you take all the bikes off and you need to get in your tailgate for supplies or whatever for your bike ride, you're going to be able to lower that and clear it. But like I said, it comes in three pieces. Pretty simple to put to, uh, put together. Um, if I had any gripe, it would be that the wobble-free nut that they give you actually has a, a nylon nut, which is designed so that it doesn't work its way off. But at the same time, if you're gonna put this on, you're gonna need a tool to put it on and off to tighten that up so that this doesn't wobble. I would prefer something that's just a pull pin uh, to go in and out and be able to go for a bike ride without pulling out a ratchet. So that would be my one complaint about this. Otherwise, seems super sturdy. It's hopefully going to allow us to go on more bike rides because if you have a pickup truck like I do, the biggest issue is trying to pack up all the bikes and then tilt them on their side slightly to get them in the back of the truck. Whereas this, you can just throw them up here on the back, pretty straightforward and uh, be able to take a bike ride without dealing with all that in and out of the back of your truck or your vehicle. This makes it a lot easier to, to get out there, hopefully get some more exercise. All right, so. so let's take a look at how this particular bike had to be attached. So it has these little straps that you open. Again, I would have liked something that is a little more click on and click off versus having, versus having to feed uh, a nylon strap through the little buckle. Uh, but otherwise, perhaps this holds them more securely than that might, but uh, uh, it does seem like they might be able to do something that's a little more quickly on and off. But uh, this bike has this shock absorber for the back wheel and it wouldn't allow me to put this in here to attach the bike up here where it might normally be attached. This has some, this bike has some odd lines. So I would assume for, in most cases, this top bar is gonna be clear. You're gonna be able to put those on. Um, and then when traveling, I would probably opt to put the bigger bikes in closer to the car and put my kids' bikes farther out. But uh, um, you can definitely get your four bikes on here and be able to get out there and get some exercise. Now, the one thing I wanna show you is what this looks like without bikes on it. All right, so here's the bike rack without any bikes on it. You can see, as I mentioned before, you have the pull pin to tip the bottom, but you also have a pull pin up here to put this down. So right here, you've got this little guy. You pull that out, flick that around, pull out the pin, and then this goes down like this. You put this in the hole down here. without wrapping it around this. One more time with feeling. You put this in here, and then 
you hop along and reconnect that. So then you have it down like that and ready for travel without bikes on it. All right, so this thing isn't too bad. I mean, it does have a little bit of weight to it, but in terms of being able to transport it, it's not super heavy. This is the Allen 4-Bike Trailer Hitch Bike Rack. Definitely recommend it.